Hello everyone and welcome back to the S&P Saga. This week, we're covering two new companies that will be added to the index next week. Let's dive right into it for the week ending on March 29th, 2024. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,254.35, up 0.4% from last week. The P-E ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 28.52, up 0.11 points since last week. Let's start with the gainers. Merck is up 20.5 billion, or 6.5%, after the FDA approved its Win River drug to treat pulmonary arterial hypertension. Berkshire Hathaway is up 19.2 billion or 2.2% on no particular news. This is making Warren Buffett very happy. Tesla is up 15.8 billion or 2.9% after the CEO Elon Musk directed staff to give test rides using the company's full self-driving software. Amazon is up 15.7 billion or 0.8% on no particular news. Walt Disney is up 11.9 billion or 5.6% as the company reached settlement with the state of Florida regarding future developments at Walt Disney World. Moving to the losers now, Nvidia is down 98.3 billion or 4.2% as rivals Google, Intel and ARM team up to form the UXL Foundation project, which would potentially impact future GPU sales. Some of the drop can be attributed to profit taking from last week. Meta is down 61.2 billion or 4.7% as the company is targeted by the EU in a first test of the recently enacted Digital Markets Act. Microsoft is down 59.6 billion or 1.9% on no particular news. Make sure to pay attention to the recent reports of the company building a 100 billion new AI dedicated data center in partnership with OpenAI. Broadcom is down 13 billion or 2.1% on no particular news. Apple is down 12.4 billion or 0.5% on continued coverage of the Justice Department suit announced last week. This week, there were changes announced to the S&P 500 that will be effective on April 1st, 2024. Dentsply Sirona, down 14% over the past year, moving to the S&P Medcap 400 and will be replaced by GE Vernova as General Electric is spinning off the company in a transition expected to be completed April 2nd. Following the spin-off, General Electric will have a name change to GE Aerospace and will remain in the S&P 500. VF Corp, down 31% over the past year, moving to the S&P small cap 600 and will be replaced by Solventum as 3M is spinning off the company in a transaction expected to be completed April 1st. Following the spin-off, the parent 3M will remain in the S&P 500. So how to use the information we just covered? Three companies will release earnings during the week ending April 5th, 2024, but we do not expect any of them to have a significant impact on the S&P 500. Also, G Vernova and Solventum will present great opportunities if investors are trying to front-run index funds. To find out why Microsoft and Google were up last week, you should watch this video next.